After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kamsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. Did Kemsky design this place? I expect Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants. Or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure guy. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask.
key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <gasps> Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't need to... Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. The deviant took a child hostage. Jericho is somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood. Now I can scan their memories and narrow the search. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding?
it's dark. Where? Where am I? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone! And I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's going to be definitive. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? 
and be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. Never lost a catch. Warm place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. They're conducting raids across the coast. Cut them down. The there were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived, and they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like just people. People who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Cromwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that they destroy our machines before they destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state of chaos. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived, and they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like just people, like people who want to be free. Following the android. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Kara, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Al. Stay with Alice. Thank you. 
reduce Detroit to a state of chaos. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids wouldn't do any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived, and well, they opened fire. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the We've Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. Got to avenge your dead. But the Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has... Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that these defected machines have become a real danger for American society. The time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machine... ...all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try...
Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. 